for freedom Christ has set us free. Stand fast, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Now I, Paul, say to you that if you receive circumcision, Christ will be of no advantage to you. I testify again to every man who receives circumcision that he is bound to keep the whole law. You are severed from Christ, you who would be justified by the law. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision is of any avail, but faith working through love. You are running well. Who hindered you from obeying the truth? This persuasion is not from him who calls you. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. I have confidence in the Lord that you will take no other view than mine, and he who is troubling you will bear his judgment whoever he is. But if I, brethren, still preach circumcision, why am I still persecuted? In that case, the stumbling block of the cross has been removed. I wish those who unsettle you would mutilate themselves. For you were called to freedom, brethren. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love be servants to one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you are not consumed by one another.